Looks like Masters of the Universe Revelations Part 2 didn't even make the top 10. So yesterday, I did sit down and actually watch Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 2. Boy, that's a mouthful, huh? I did sit down and watch it, and in some ways, I got to be honest, it's kind of worse than Part 1, because Part 1, and I'm not defending Part 1 at all, kind of kept moving on a really good pace, as bad as it was, but at least it had like a you know, a thing they were doing, they were looking for the power sword to restore it. And, you know, they were going from point A to B. And then with part two, it just kind of got slow. Maybe this is just me, but it's a lot of times that I was just bored out of my mind because there's just so much talk. There was a lot of talking and very little action. But one thing I can 100% confirm after watching it is He-Man becomes a loser. Why do I say that? Well, because it's the Tila show. Tila becomes a sorceress. And, you know, spoilers, spoilers, right? Who cares? I don't recommend you watch this because it sucks. But Tila becomes the sorceress. Evil Lynn gets the power. And for some reason, everyone can have the power and never let it go. I, I don't really quite get how anybody can just use the sword and call in the power. I thought you had to be chosen. But anyway, <laughs> um. Tila becomes the sorceress who has no limits. She's not bound by Castle Grayskull. She can leave it. She fights Evil Lynn, and everyone forgives Evil Lynn for some reason after she kills everyone and destroys heaven. And He-Man ends up fighting a bunch of grunts while Tila has the final battle with uh, She-Man sorceress Evil Lynn and beats her while He-Man is regulated to grunt fighting. He's, he basically ends up becoming Tila's sidekick. <laughs> That's where we're at with the show. And they teased the part three. Oh, good God. I hope they make that. That'd be some fun content. Because now He-Man's the sidekick. It literally is set up because she's super powerful. Tila becomes a super powerful sorceress who can leave Castle Grayskull. And He-Man's literally just her sidekick now. He's even like at the end, like, oh. I guess you don't need a champion anymore. And she's just like, oh, I'll always need a champion. We're in this together. Yeah, she's in. She's the boss now. So <laughs> Kevin Smith, his lies are complete. His lies are now complete, basically. He, uh, he, he swore up and down. It's all about He-Man. And to be fair, Prince Adam is in this whole five episodes, but not as He-Man. He-Man doesn't show up until the very last episode. And like I said, like you're waiting this whole time to see him be a badass. All he does is fight some grunts while Tila is doing the final battle. It's it's embarrassing for He-Man fans. But at least this time I can report a little bit of drama karma. Some drama karma here. Look at this. So this is from Flix Patrol. And I have today's top 10 overall. And I want to say yesterday I was checking as well and Masters of the Universe Revelations Part 2 never made the top 10 as far as I can tell I could be wrong on this but as of right now look at this Uh, this is today's top 10 Cowboy Bebop Red Notice Queen of Flow Tiger King Hellbound Here Comes the Boom uh, Chameleon Made Narcos Mexico and Arcane And if you just look at shows, it's not on there. If you look at top 10 movies, it wouldn't be on there. But that's that's where we're at. It's not on here. And I can even change this around. And we can do worldwide. And worldwide, top movies, top shows, it it does not make any top 10. I don't even see it on this chart right here. This is embarrassing. (laughs) Because the first one not only uh, made the top 10, apparently uh, it had crazy numbers that blew Kevin Smith away. And Netflix was very happy. I have to wonder, ladies and gentlemen, how happy they are this time. Because you can only pull a lie out of your ass one time, Kevin Smith. And after everyone saw what you did in part one, I don't think a lot of them came back for part two. 
and he only has himself to blame for this. But I think this is amazing. Uh, I could do Canada because it doesn't give me North America. The baby is popular in Canada. I don't know. Nope, it's not. What about Mexico? Let's take a look at Mexico. I th- it would play in Mexico, wouldn't it? Let's see if they like it. Give it a shot. Nope. <laughs> They're not watching it there either. How embarrassing for Kevin Smith. And he has nobody to blame but himself. Nobody to blame but himself for this mess. And I hope and I hope this uh I hope this sits with you because I you know I I hope this was worth it to you Kevin Smith to damage your reputation like this cuz this ain't going to stop at Masters of the Universe, Revel- Universe Revelations. Oh no. This is going to this is going to affect Clerks 3 too. I bet you a lot of his fan base has abandoned him. A majority of them. I I know it's tough to say, but he's definitely going to lose a lot of fans from this. Because this was the big nerdy guy. You know, he got busted in a lie saying he was a big Motu fan. Uh, That turned out to be a lie because he admitted in a tweet that he should have went back and erased. Where he said that, you know, he was never a big fan of it, but he was impressed with uh, some kind of section at at a con about it or something. So, you know, karma, man, for for going after Clownfish TV. Lying to the fans. This is what you get. This is the end result, man. You should have been up front and said it was a damn Tila show. And I think we'd be having a little bit of a different conversation, but that's not what happened. So sidekick C-Man, or maybe he is a C-Man, huh? He-Man. Sidekick He-Man. That's what you get. Ten episodes. You get to see He-Man in the first episode. And you get to see He-Man in the last episode. And then there was that flashback. There was that one little flashback uh, in the first part. That's it. Other than that, you know, you've been waiting how long to see this show? And what'd you get? You got the Tila show. And you got to see He-Man usurped by Tila. I hope they make that part three. That'll be hilarious. Because in part three, you get to see basically Tila and the Masters of the Universe. That's what it'll be. So, you know, congratulations on this failure, Kevin Smith. Congratulations. Uh, Going to be funny to see if you ever come out and say they were as happy as last time. I don't think that's going to happen, is it, Kevin? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. Usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.